Dennis, happy enough with the point tonight? Yes and no. Obviously, we're away from home, so I'm happy we're getting a point away from home. But was in a position to win the game, and it was a, a mistake, defensive mistake on the clearance. We're in possession of the ball. We try to pass in a wrong area. They've intercepted and gone through to score. So the manner of the equalising goal was really disappointing because we spoke about it half time. You know, when you've got the three points at half time, you make sure you don't pass in wrong areas and give yourself a chance to be counter attacked. And we gave them that opportunity. But in saying that, it was an end to end game, second half, and in the end, we could have won it. Pleased with the goal you did score, Connor Robinson, second in two games. First class goal, you know, Renault, great wing play, he's turned the fella inside out, delivered a fantastic ball. Connor's got a great head on it, good save when he's put the rebound in. And chances at the end for you to win it, Dale Southwell denied by a good save from that keeper. Yeah, we worked a set piece routine in the air in the end, slid Dale Southwell down the side. And, you know, he's six yards out with only the goalkeeper to beat and the goalkeeper's pulled off a worldie. But given Worcester's home record, given your woes away from home at times, not recently, but 1-1 one, one is a good, good result for you on the Yeah, balance. look, we've come here on a Tuesday night and we've gone and got ourselves a point away from home. Like you say, they're unbeaten at home. So it's a real good point. But I'm just disappointed because we was one then in front. If we'd been one nil behind, then I'd be sitting here going, it's a real good point. But we was in a position to win the game. They hadn't really caused us too many problems first half when we was one nil in front. They were just hitting the big ball into um, Simmons up front. We dealt with that in the main. Um, you know, I felt like we just could have gone on to win the game. But like I say, it's just a um, pass in the wrong area, which has ended up breaking us down. Four changes tonight and you had real options for the first time perhaps this season. Virtually everybody available bar in pitch and that showed with, showed with the strength you had on the bench. Yeah, it's good because you know you can rest a few. Um, you know, we've got three games this week, so you know, like most teams, if you've got a strong squad you can rest a couple of players. So we've done that and it also gives us the option then to bring on players that are just as, you know, capable as the ones that are starting. You know, Danny Meadows coming on in the last ten minutes there give us real impetus, same as David Falar, and that gives us the opportunity to get ourselves back in front again and it nearly paid off. And David Falar, perhaps the prime example, two goals in two games and it doesn't guarantee your start. Well it wasn't a case that he got he's been trapped and <coughs> got two goals in two games. It's just it's an away game. He's still developing and we need all the all the gaps closed and people picked up away from home. So we just wanted to make sure we had somebody a little bit more further forward in that position. Not further forward are up the pitch, but um, in experience. So we just left him out, but we know he can come on and make something happen. And he's done that when he came up. And tonight presumably comes an even better point if you can get three at home to Bednesford on Saturday. Absolutely. That's, you know, that's the idea, isn't it? If you can stay unbeaten, that's three games now unbeaten. Stay unbeaten, run, get a point away from home and get three points at home. But, you know, just slightly disappointed tonight, even though it probably wouldn't have been fair on Worcester if we'd have um, took the three points, but we're certainly in a very good position to take it. And I think you're going scouting tomorrow night to watch your FA Cup opponents. What's your reaction to the draw? Well, I mean, you know, Leek knocked out Orchard last year, so, you know, we will show them the utmost respect. Don't know too much about uh, Tibdale, but, you know, Leek have caused a big upset last year. So if they go through, we've got to make sure it's not an upset against us. But you can't ask for no more. It's a team two steps below us in the pyramid. But I'm sure they're more than capable side, the pair of them. So we'll go and watch them tomorrow, show them the utmost respect, and hopefully we'll get through.